Brazil legend and Real Valladolid owner Ronaldo has hit out at fans who racially abused Vinicius Jr. during their recent loss to Real Madrid. The winger was substituted in the closing stages of Real Madrid's 2-0 win at the Estadio Municipal José Zarilla on Friday and received a torrent of racist abuse from home fans as he left the pitch. Ronaldo, who played for Madrid in the 2000s and became the majority shareholder of Valladolid in 2018, took to Twitter to defend Vinicius. Regrettable, disgusting, shameful, inadmissible. Racists and xenophobes do not represent us. Vinicius Jr., all my support, respect and affection, Ronaldo wrote. Real Valladolid is available to the authorities to collaborate in the investigation so that those responsible are removed from the club. Following the match, Vinicius himself tweeted, Racists continue to go to stadiums and watch the biggest club in the world up close and La Liga continues to do nothing, I will continue with my head held high and celebrating my victories and those of Madrid. In the end it's my fault. La Liga have since made a formal complaint to Spain's anti-violence committee, which deals with cases of discrimination. However, they already cleared Atletico Madrid fans of wrongdoing for clearly racially abusing Vinicius already this season. Eden Hazard's performance against fourth-tier club Casarino has put Carlo Ancelotti under immense pressure. The Italian manager kept his word and gave the Belgian a chance but as it turns out, the attacker failed to live up to the expectations and lasted a mere 68 minutes. And it has left the manager, extremely, worried reports AS. The 31-year-old recorded zero attempted dribbles, did not have a go at goal, lost the ball five times and managed just 24 touches, the lowest of any Real Madrid forward. These are the statistics that are certain to worry any manager and Ancelotti is no different. The manager thought he could count on him during the packed schedule this month, but the player has only disappointed the main man. Against Casarino, the 31-year-old had most of his touches on the left side of the field and almost every single touch was outside the box. Hazard's substitution saw Rodrigo moving to left and it only took the Brazilian a minute to score the winner for his team. Interestingly enough, speaking after the game, Ancelotti did not say a lot against Hazard, but minced a lot about the state of the pitch. You can't play football, Ancelotti said. For me, it's not football, it's another sport. It's nice because small teams can fight and compete with bigger teams. It's good for the fans, but the fans also want to see beautiful matches. About Hazard, he noted, I liked, Hazard. It's difficult to evaluate players individually, it was impossible to play. Smaller players like Hazard or Rodrigo suffer more, but he delivered. It must be noted that Hazard's ongoing contract with Real Madrid runs until 2024, but he is more likely to leave the team before that. In fact, it is highly anticipated that he will be sold in summer itself. Given the performance he delivered against the fourth-tier side of Spanish football, one can suspect that it is going to be the final roll of the dice. It has been a turbulent few weeks for Real Madrid when it comes to player contracts. The reigning European champions, after all, could be set for a major makeover in the coming summer, with a host of their star players having their contracts expire at the end of the season. Tony Cruz is among the players facing an uncertain future at the club. But unlike stars such as Luka Modric, who has been courted by Saudi Arabian giants Al Nasr, the German is not facing the prospect of a potential elsewhere. Rather, Cruz has been reportedly flirting with the idea of early retirement. Despite being just 33, the former Bayern Munich man is considering hanging up his boots, having won almost everything in his decorated career, including five Champions League titles and a FIFA World Cup trophy. Recent reports had suggested that there is pessimism within the Real Madrid camp over the continuation of Cruz. But as per Relivo, all indications suggest that the German might end up renewing his contract at Santiago Bernabeu. One of the reasons behind Cruz's desire to put an early end to his career was the criticism he faced from fans over his performances. It played a key role in convincing him to retire from international football in 2021. However, Cruz has emerged as one of the most consistent performers for Real Madrid under Carlo Ancelotti. His contributions were immense last season as he helped Los Blancos secure the Champions League and the league title. He has continued his form even in the ongoing campaign. 
therefore, Cruz could tilt towards another renewal that could see him remain at the Bernabeu until 2024. His prolonged stay at the club could go a long way in helping youngsters such as Aurelian Chuamini and Eduardo Camavinga to mature quickly and eventually become the face of the Real Madrid midfield.